welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here and you didn't already, my name is Tara and thank you so much for being here. So I wanted to thank you guys so much for 300 subscribers. I can't believe we are here. I'm so excited. Stay tuned because I will be having a giveaway for this little beauty right here. It is the Jeffree Star, oh, I had it upside down. It's the Jeffree Star Mini Jawbreaker Palette. I've been holding on to this for so long for you guys to do a giveaway. So stay tuned to hear about how you can enter to win this. I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me and kind of talking about some, I guess you would say tea. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I do a lot of random stuff on my channel. I don't really have one niche that, you know, most YouTubers have, I do like everything. Today I wanted to talk about Trisha Paytas and the whole controversy with her and her coming out as trans and my perspective on it, which might be a little bit different from a lot of people that have made videos on it. I feel super passionate about this topic. So that's why I wanna talk about it. I am gonna be using the Jeffree Star giant jawbreaker palette today i absolutely have been loving this palette every time i do my makeup which hasn't been that much lately but every time i have been doing eyeshadow i have reached for this palette because it's just so freaking beautiful and the formula is amazing if you guys notice my hair is short now i just filmed a video not that long ago uh cutting my own hair did not know Trisha Paytas made a video she made a video saying that she or basically coming out as trans basically in the video she talked about how she did this like I don't know if it was a shoe it was something where she had to wear a short wig and she had to like kind of compress her chest and how she never felt more comfortable. I've been watching Trisha for a long, 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 long time. And yes, we all know that she is a troll and has troll tendencies on the internet, but I really believed her in this video. Even though there was some things that I think she shouldn't have said and some things where I think she misinformed people, I do believe her because A, she really looked like she was telling the truth. She was looking at the camera. She wasn't umming a lot. Uh, like she normally does. She wasn't act like putting on an act that I've, you know, noticed that she does. She puts on like this fake voice. I don't know if anyone else has ever realized this, but she puts on like this fake voice when she's like trolling, you know, like she did her Mitt Romney, whatever that was. And then she did one where she said she was a different, identified as a different ethnicity. And there's a few other <laughs> things that she's trolled about that... <laughs> don't even get me started but I felt like she was telling the truth of how she was feeling I could totally relate a thousand percent to what she was talking about and what she was describing all growing up I always wore baggy clothes I always didn't want to do my hair I have shaved my head before I've had short hair before I liked dressing very masculine. I always felt like I should have been born a boy. Uh, when my mom was pregnant with me, the doctors, you know, during the ultrasound said that I was gonna be a boy. Um, so she thought I was a boy until I was born. And I just always identified more with males than females. It's another reason why I have more guy friends, I think. I always, wanted to have a penis and i know this sounds really 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 weird uh, uh but i did I, I always wanted a penis i always was very envious of my brother i have a younger brother who's 13 months younger than me you've probably seen him on my channel in some of my vlogs or in some of our singing videos but i did i always just thought i was supposed to be born a boy now you're probably thinking, well, you're applying makeup to your face right now. And that's what, you know, a lot of people said about Trisha. Well, you know, you like to get glammed up. You like to, you know, wear these crazy outfits. You had, she had a boob job, you know, she's had butt, her butt done. Uh, all these things to make her more hyper feminine, right? So when I did drugs, a huge issue that I had besides, you know, like childhood trauma and stuff like that was that I never felt comfortable in my own skin. I had really bad body dysmorphia. When I gained a ton of weight when I got sober, my body dysmorphia got even worse. 
uh, because my boobs got bigger and I started having more of a womanly figure, right? And you know, I, I don't know. And I also got into makeup when I got sober. I don't know why I just did. But what I'm trying to say is, and I guess in a way I'm kind of, I'm so anxious in a way I'm kind of, I'm so anxious because I know she got a shit ton of backlash and I've wanted to talk to you guys about this before and other people in my life about this, but I've always been just so scared to talk about it because I don't know what it is. I don't know if it is um, non-binary. I don't know the correct term of what it is that I feel and that Trisha feels. I don't think it's trans because I don't, how, how do I put this? I don't see myself going and transitioning, you know, I don't see myself going and, and fully transitioning. I do have days where I like to do my makeup. I do have days where I like to feel pretty. Most days, I don't. Most days, if you follow me on Instagram, which I'll put my Instagram right here. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I'm on my stories like constantly. And 90% of the time, I would actually, I would say like 99.99% of the time, I am wearing a hat, no makeup, in baggy clothes, and that's how I feel the most comfortable. And there's nothing wrong with that. Do I think that I identify fully as a male? No, no, I don't. Um, I, I don't know what I am. I don't know if I need to know. Uh, maybe... Maybe it would make me feel a lot better. I'm so anxious talking about this. Maybe it would make me feel a lot better and feel, I don't know, more like I, you know, understand myself. I, I, I don't know. I, I really, I really, really, really don't know. But I do know that I 100% believe Trisha about what she's feeling. Now, do I think that she's trans? I don't know. I can't personally say that. All I can say is that I do completely relate to everything that she was talking about in her video. She made a comment and a lot of people are using this as like against her and laughing at her or whatever. I don't want to like misquote her, but it was something along the lines of, do I identify as a male? A hundred percent or a thousand percent yes. And then she was like, do I identify as my natural born gender? A thousand percent yes. I understand that. You know, I've never liked my name. I've never felt super feminine. I think I've tried to make myself feel more feminine by doing my makeup, um, wearing dresses when I know I don't feel comfortable in that. The way society thinks is, you know, women, you know, if I gotta get dressed up for something, I'm expected to wear a dress. You know what I mean? Like I'm expected to do that. So I wear leggings with it. Uh, the other thing is, is that I think that we put way too much on gender roles. And it's something I've really prided myself with my kids, with, about with my kids. And maybe I do this because I myself don't feel fully comfortable in my own skin, but I've never told my kids like, no, you can't do something because you're a girl or no, you can't do something because you're a boy. Uh, you know, my son, I get a lot of, a lot of SHIT for my son because a lot of people tell me that I'm going to make him gay or I'm going to make him too sensitive because I let him wear makeup and I let him paint his nails and, uh, you know, I, I baby him and that's not right, but nobody says anything when I let my daughter play with trucks or when my daughter's into Minecraft or when my daughter walks around only at home, obviously. I don't let her walk around in public like this, but when my daughter walks around with her shirt off because she wants to be like papa and daddy and brother, you know, so I don't understand the double standard there, um, but I've never, you know, I've been very big on, you know, my daughter has said to me before, well, only boys can wear makeup or only girls can wear makeup. And I explained to her, no, that's not true. And, you know, I've tried explaining to her the best way that I can to a six year old, you know, about how gender doesn't define the things that you do. 
so you know maybe that is something to do again with why I do that because I have my own deep-rooted issues that I, I don't quite understand myself I think that Trisha she said that she's been in therapy I think that's great uh, where I live I don't really have that uh, that not luck but I don't really get to be able to go seek somebody out like that if I were to find somebody that specializes in gender or anything like that I would have to travel like for at least four hours uh, I live in a very rural closed minded area I have transgender friends that really want you know more information and they can't get it but I feel for Trisha because I feel like she's super confused and I can, like I said, I can totally understand that because I've been there. I'm still there. I don't know. Call me crazy, right? I have literally fantasized about being able to dress the way, and I do for the most part dress the way that I want to dress, but being able to fully cut my hair short, shorter than this, right? Um, being able to feel comfortable just being me 100%. I feel like I am held to this standard. And especially now that I have children, it's like I don't want to confuse them by not being mommy, if that makes sense. Side note, isn't this mug so super cute? I found it at the Dollar General. Love it. If anybody can let me know what sounds like is going on with me, I would highly appreciate it because I have no freaking idea. And I feel like whatever I am, is probably what Trish is going through right now. I just, I just feel for her so bad because she is getting a ton of hate. It's just, it's a lot. And the other thing that I wanted to say that I feel like she kind of was misleading in her video is that sexuality and gender are not the same thing. They're two totally different things complete and total different things and I think that she may not completely comprehend that yet or may not understand the difference yet because she seemed a little misguided with her information or her knowledge on those two things like she seemed like she was saying like oh um if i was or i'm trans and i already know that i am a drag queen and i'm a gay like i'm a uh, a gay uh trans or i'm trans because i'm attracted to gay men that you being attracted to gay men has nothing to do with you being trans though you know what i mean like it it, it just it it, it doesn't it doesn't so I think w when it comes to that she was just a little bit I don't know misinformed and that's kind of worrying to me because she has a very large audience and she's kind of spewing BS but again I think it's because she's very very confused and I believe that because I'm very very confused about my own gender and i wouldn't i'm not confused about my sexuality but my gender i'm definitely definitely confused about oh tara the anxiety maybe i'll figure it out one day i wish that there was more services for people like me that are very confused and also for like transgender people where I live there really isn't anything and if anything if I were to come out with feeling the way that I'm feeling or have felt for years <laughs> um people would probably look at me like I'm freaking crazy they would be like oh my god but you wear makeup and you know the only girly part of me literally is makeup I like jewelry and I like crystals and that's only if you try to assign what hobbies to a gender.
you know? So it's just, I don't know. But do I still have times where I wish that I had a penis? Yes. Are there times that I hate the fact that I have a vagina? Yes. Do I have body dysmorphia because I have a vagina and boobs? Yes. I mean, even when I wear bras, I push my boobs down. Like the bras I wear, I make sure they push my breasts down and I already don't have very big boobs, but I don't like them. I'm very self-conscious of them. Uh, I don't, I don't like them at all. I have a lot of body dysmorphia though. So not just with my boobs and my vagina, but in general, I have a lot of body dysmorphia. But like, how do you talk to people about that? You know what I mean? How do you talk to people in your life about that? So I feel like Trish was very, very brave for even making her video. I don't know what I'm doing with my eye look. I've kind of just like gone for it. But I feel like she was very, 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 very brave for making her video. Like I applaud her so much. I just think that there were some things that she shouldn't have said. But at the same time, I think, again, I know I've said this a hundred times, that she's just very confused. I don't think she's trolling. Um, I think that if she was trolling, then she would have already come out and said she was trolling. I think Gigi Gorgeous, her video is amazing. I will link it down below about this whole situation. It Her video was like, brilliant you know she's known Trish a long time and I've seen videos of Trish where she has claimed that she identifies as a male I've seen it from years ago I always just thought they were trolls though and the thing is is could she be having this erratic behavior like in her past because she's always felt this way because I know it has caused me, not so much now, but when I was younger, to do a lot of bad things. You know, I did a lot of things that most people wouldn't do because I was so confused. And I try to forget about it. Like, I try to just, like, completely forget that I feel this way. And it's, it's hard. You can't forget about it. You know, you... you <laughs> It's not something where it's like, you know, where certain religious people think gay can be cured. This cannot be cured. Again, I don't know what it is. I have no idea what you call it, but it can't be cured. Oh, I'm so confused in general, like with life, with this, with, with everything. So I can only imagine how Trish feels, especially with like such a big following. I think that a lot of the hate that she's getting is understandable because people don't know if she's being authentic or not because of all the stuff that she's put online that's like crazy and trollish and whatever else. So I feel like people have a valid reason to be kind of like, are you kidding me? Or like, is this real? If I was good at wing liner, this would look so pretty with a wing, but I'm I'm not I'm not good at all with winged liner. I regret buying these Jaclyn Hill brushes so bad. They've all like fallen apart on me in less than a year. Like, what the fuck? I really want to know from you guys though, like what your thoughts are about the whole Trisha thing. Like, do you think that she's trolling? Do you think that it's just a bunch of BS? I, I'm really, really curious about your thoughts. And I know that people either have a strong opinion about one or the other. So I really wanna know what you guys think. And I also wanna know if you guys would like me to do more videos like this. I know that my channel has kind of turned into like a mini vlog channel and I'm sorry for that. I've just been like so busy. We had the house remodeling this, this um, summer. And it was really hard to film with construction going on here, like sit down and film and stuff. So I promise that stuff will be back to business. I'm still gonna vlog, but it just won't be every single video like it has been. So yeah, I would just really like you guys' opinions and thoughts about the whole Trisha thing. But now the exciting part, onto the giveaway. So 
The giveaway is for the Jeffree Star Mini Jawbreaker. I'm sorry, this is going to be for the U.S. only because I honestly can't afford to ship out of country. I've done it before. It's a lot. All you have to do is subscribe to be subscribed to my channel, like this video, leave me a comment about anything. It can literally be anything and go give my Instagram a follow, which will be linked in the description box. So you do those four things and I will pick a winner one week from today. Once I pick a winner, I will contact you. Your Instagram has to be public. If it's private, I can't contact you. So for the next week, leave your Instagram public, not private. I will contact you and I will let you know that you won. You will get your ship or I will get your shipping information. There will be other things in the giveaway as well that I will be sending with this. It will not just be this. I have a whole box of new makeup that will be coming along with this, but this is like the big gahuna, the big prize, if you know what I mean. I will also put in the description box who the winner is when I choose one. I really hope you guys are not too hard on me about my thoughts and opinions on this subject today. I'm sorry. And don't forget, if you like my vibe, don't forget to subscribe. And I really hope to see you guys on the next one. Good luck, guys. Bye.